Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. So I haven't really played Cthune since he was like really overpowered like a year and a half ago. Because ever since, it's always just been kind of the same thing. You just press the hero power and then stats go up and doing that means that your stats go up. But you're using quite a lot of gold each turn so you're not really forwarding yourself in the game. Cthune was like a master of consistency of getting like second and third place. It's just not really what I care to do. But... There are some interesting additions. Um, quests actually play into Cthune's hero power uh, in pretty meaningful ways. Drakari doubles or potentially triples Cthune's hero power because Cthune's hero power is an end of turn effect textbook. And also dragons, because uh, again, I haven't played Cthune in really forever, uh, have pretty strong synergy with Cthune's hero power, which I think has been redone since the first issue of uh, the Whelp Smuggler. So a lot of new stuff. I'm like, okay, let's play Cthulhu. Well, it was a pretty good game as it turns out. So hope you guys enjoyed that. God, we have to play not mechs? How do I do that? So when mechs aren't in, the end of turn card isn't as competitive, which puts Cthulhu in pretty decent standing. I mean, I don't really want to play those heroes, and apparently Rag's bad in this. All right, fine. Champion? Yep. Try Dragon Slayer and scaled really well. What do I think? So, all builds kind of have their high rolls. Uh, even dragons, yeah. You just. You want, like, Caligos and Bran. But then, like, you want the Bran after the Caligos. So, you have to, like, find a Caligos and then find a Bran. Dragons can be really good, but the, the consistency on them is not very good. The field's waiting for you. Hero power whelp smuggler, true. Okay. Oh, you can still recover. Freeze. Oh they freeze there. Drakari enchanter. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Kathun's really good at Drakari. But people people pick Drakari now a lot. They just go for it. Oh, I'm gonna go for you. Here's your coin. You gotta build up a team somehow. But yeah, if there's no mechs, people tend to not go for Drakari too much. So it's more available. So I think I think no mechs actually makes Cthune stronger. I think a metal but it looks like Cthune is pretty average in general, so... Yeah. It doesn't go that far, I guess. Murlocs relatively weak with the card and hand mechanic. Yeah, I think you're taking crazy pills. Murlocs are pretty good with the card and hand mechanic. Murlocs are Quillbore, trigger battle cries, attack 14 times, end of turn, consume. We can make, eh, not that big taverns. <sighs> Friendly minions attack 14 times, five Murlocs or Quillbore. I think I'm gonna go devils in the details. It's again an end of turn mechanic. So we, uh, we want that. Okay. New Zealand for Exocon? Yep. Excited for Exocon or for New Zealand? Well, both. I have been quite hyped for PoE stuffs. I'd say, I'd say they deliver on two out of three leagues for me personally, and they deliver on hype for leagues two out of three. Those don't necessarily line up, by the way. I'm just, just saying. It's about the hit rate, but I don't get hyped for like anything normally. Say, like the season one Diablo announcement? Eh. Meh. <laughs> yeah, it was, seems okay, I guess. Yeah, sure. Calandra. Ah, I thought the Calandra mechanic was pretty lame, actually. I didn't like Calandra. And the crowd goes wild. This is four unique times, though. Nope, I think I'm gonna hear power again. Now those... Hold them in the penalty, those I will go for. You. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't know what they're doing. Uh, they said they're doing a media 
Blackout until ExoCon. They had like PoE2 teasers. I don't know if you guys like know, but like Path of Exile, when they started getting rolling with the League content, they, they were like, they were so good at it. Like in the, in the very early stages when it was just like a handful of people in the dev team, it was like, we got Act 3 when like the game was like an open beta, I think. And then we got Act 4 like a year later or something. And then like, Six months after that, when it was just like, you know, they're gonna announce like the next league or whatever. Do you know what they announced? Soothing beats. Yeah, they announced Act 5, and 6, and 7, and 8, and 9, and 10. And there was no copy pasta in any of that. Nothing. They literally just like tripled the game. So yeah, that took everyone completely by surprise. They had, like no one had any idea they were actually working on stuff like that. My point is, whatever they're doing at ExileCon, and again, I have no idea. But whatever they're doing could be like really big. Just level. I think I'll juice the low flyer. Because if the low flyer gets juiced, it's going to probably. Like the, the lowest it gets is two. Yeah, so it'll juice that no matter what. Maybe that as well. Maybe the smuggler as well. Twilight on five? Nah, bro, that ain't gonna happen. He just came from DOST Overwatch servers. Oh, is that it? Yeah, I was like lagging out a little bit. Good to know, I guess. You're today's top scorer. I played so uh, I don't know, two three months ago. I think I played like an off, off stream season. Set and match. If I remember correctly. Well, let's go. How big is this? Nine nine. God damn. Yeah, we gotta do it. Gotta do it. Good luck, MVP. I don't really want any of that. 
I think I'm gonna get this. And I think I'm gonna get that. Unfortunately, there's some really crappy cards on the ends. Should catch up in a couple turns. You know what? 10 to summoning skill damage effects. Uh, yeah, it, that that stat does actually work. Yeah, that's not bad. We can find the thorns plus CDR for Necro. Uh, it's good. I don't know. I have thorns and CDR on my Necro. Seems to work. Yeah, I want to try to get Drakari. Game set and match. Good, that can be good. Oh, probably not this time. Screw that. <laughs> okay. 11 procs. Okay, sure. I might play a little bit more D4, but, uh, I mean, my character is like 85 or something. It is, it is very much just grinding out the last few levels at this point. Oh. That looks not good for me. Out of all the stuff to kill, it didn't help that much. Oh, max damage 34. Lucky. Okay. You'll get them next time, sport. I don't know if this is a good idea. Such soothing beats. Ha! Good play. Here's your coin. I mean, I can't really have the Nadina first, so. You're a star athlete, friend. That is a great dragon here. Also, Tomp on that is fantastic. You ought to fill out your team. I am actually pretty happy with this. Get into what? What? Oh, it just gets lots of different buffs. And each one is its own instance, so it should skyrocket. Like, it's a 2-8. Okay. Oh, you're, you're asking into what? I don't know. 25, 30? Star Alfred. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And the 
crowd goes wild. 11 win streak, huh? Mm -hmm. Nice. Good, good job with it. I got my permits. Mm, okay. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. Plus 22. Boom, 34. <laughs> Gotta trade them out now and then. Too weak to beat his build? Yeah, probably. Why is this top 8 board not top 8? It's deceptively decent, okay? There's no mechs. And we got shields. That's pretty good. I've been keeping score. You are good. You ought to fill out your tea. I don't know if I could interrupt this part for a YOLO Drakari. Oh, damn it. That guy's not scaling attack very much, though. Okay, that's still pretty damn scary. You're right. We'll see, I guess. You're a star athlete, friend. Oh no. I didn't realize we were on off turns. Yo, can we nerf this while other people play it? What the hell? Well, I think I'm actually outscaling the first place guy. Just had a big health lead. Yeah, yeah. Who even plays that build? I mean, seriously. Bunch of no good scumbags, dude. 